Okay, welcome to Kokos TV na Mbona African Online TV ambapo leo nime hang out na msani moja ama comedian ambaye anatoka sehemu za Hellorate ama anatoka sehemu za Wasingishu na ni comedian ambaye anajulikana sana kama Senge Senge Elena. Lakini leo angependa kutuambia majina yake kamili anaitwa nani, amelelewa wapi, amekulia wapi na wapi ametoka. Make sure una subscribe Kokos TV Kenya, make sure unaingia pale una subscribe, una click pale, una like na una share. Make sure una follow up pale kwa Twitter, IG, kila mahali Kokos TV Kenya kwa kwa, media, kwa social media zote ni Kokos TV Kenya. So leo ningependa tuongee tu naye na tuambie ameanza wapi. Karibu sana Kokos TV. So utuambie majina yako kamili na umekulia wapi umeanzia wapi na comedy uliingiaje comedy maybe kwa majina kwanza kwa majina naitwa Vitalis Kiplagat Motai Maraswa e, nimekulia Nandi nimelelewa uh, mali nitoka kwa Sirai eh uko Nandi place naitwa Mateget uko leo nime grow na nimekuwa huko uh, nimesoma Nandi pia eh, lakini kwa sasa sasa nimesema mpaka wapi Okay, okay, labda labda umesema unaitwa Fidelis. Labda tuambie kuna jina e, Senge Elena. Senge Elena ni jina ambayo imekuwa brand kubwa sana kwako na imekuwa jina kubwa nchini Kenya. Maybe tuambie jina ilikujaja idea ukajiita Senge Elena ama nini ilikuja kwa kichwa ikasema tu aja nijiita Senge Elena. Sasa hiyo jina Senge Elena Elena kwanza nilipewa na rafiki yangu anaitwa Wambilianga. Eh ni msanii pia. So ya aliniambia sujiite Elena. Alafu unajua tulikuwa tunaona eh sasa nimekuwa mama. So watu lolo live play. Unaona nimeshapata hizi manguo, nimejua yenyewe naweza kuwa mama. Ina 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 character. So nikajiuliza where will I use this character for? Unajua in the industry tulikuwa tunajua kuna watu wengi wamekam as wa mama. But uh, jina ni ngumu iende. Unaona? So mimi nikasema shosho yuko. Mama ndio huyu. Sasa so, what am I going to play a role? Looking at the niche hakuna senje. Kuna senge sasa unajua senge pia kwa masherehe nini nini senge is a real deal ama senge is everything then nikachukua ile Helena rafiki yangu na nikaongeza kwa senge Helena eh. so okay eh comedy yako eh, ulijuaje unaweza fanya comedy ama nani alikuwa identify kwamba unaweza fanya comedy na ukaanza tu sasa hii ndio kazi nitafanya so mimi uh, niki grow nimekuwa tu chiki No 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 hata mimi ni hyper tu. Yaani ni mimi mtu wa ku move up and down. Sikuwa najua mimi ni comedian. Hata after high school I never knew that I can do comedy but I knew that niko tu na hiyo uchickness ndani yangu. And nilikuwa najua tu mimi ni aggressive aggressive. So after form 4 nikiwa shule kwanza tulikuwa anga na nini yetu ya kuact liko ni tuongo wana kwetu. So tikiwa shule tulikuwa tumeanza anza kuact kidogo kidogo playing some small small uh, roles nini nini then after shule nika nikaenda ngana Nairobi being in Nairobi nikafanya nyingine inaitwa kwa Vonza school ya kina Sami Kioko kina Tom Daktari hizo tukasukuma sukuma tukasukuma sukuma so comedy nika realize kumba I, had, I, loved, I loved comedians na hata mimi I used to dance kitambo nilikuwa napenda ngatu hao watu wenyako kwenye unajua wala watu wanaimba comedy nini nilikuwa natembea tu na wao yani I loved their company yes So okay. That's when I knew Kumba can be a comedian. Yes. Okay, maybe your first video ambao ulifanya ukaona sasa nimejulikana Kenya ama nimejulikana eh nimejulikana nimefikia mahali e, watu wakai wakairisi waka kwa njia nzuri. Ni video ulifanya mwa gani ilikuwa video gani? So, mimi nimekuwa kwa hizo nilikuwa nakwambia kwa Vonza School tumekuwa tukifanya clips ndogo 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 za shule ndani. So mara mingi I used to post them what ilikuwa na repost. Alafu unajua ilikuwa na trend. Sasa juu ilikuwa kitu nationwide, eh? ilikuwa kitu ya Kiswahili ni nini. So ilikuwa na trending. So nilikuwa nimekuwa nilikuwa nimekuwa used to. Unaona? So hata nilikuwa nikiposting video sikuwa na too much expectations. But when I posted video ya Senge which was last year, eh? ilikuwa August August TV when I posted the video no last last year 29, 2020 yeah senge was born in 2020 around august tuka post video tu tulikuwa tunaenda kufanya video ya sherehe ya wakale venye ukuanga so nilikuwa ni dress tu for kukuwa mama wa kata keki hiyo nguo ilikuwa ya mama wa kata keki haikuwa ya senge elena but sasa kuna ile video moja nilifanya na ilikuwa ilienda ikakuwa so viral ilienda viral sana nikaria nikajiambi kwa nini watu wamependa kwa hii video then nikajiambia eh can be a senge sasa venye nimeamua kuwa senge sasa tu sasa nikaanza ku take that role sasa ya senge Helena na nikaanza ku post videos kama ya senge people do related so much about it that's why ka ka get breakthrough ya haraka 
Okay kabla hujatuelezea uh, kwamba sasa umefanya kasi na makomedia kama kina Raburi aliona unafanya kasi na unafanya kasi na uh, kama Ramanyuri naona unafanya kasi na watu wengi. Make sure una subscribe pale Kokos TV, una ni follow up pale. Make sure una like, una share ndio kila time nikipost kila kitu unaipata. So tuambie eh, you are himba kwa kufanya kasi na makomedians wengine kama umesema umefanya kasi na kina Sam Kioko, umefanya kasi na nimeona umefanya kasi pia na Raba kina Raburi. What is the biggest timba kamba naona uh, timu kimekusaidia katika komedi yako mimi ili nisaidia kwanza ku understand comedy kama watu kama kina Sam Kioko na kina Tom Daktari nilikuwa ni, ni, the moment na grow in comedy sikuwa na too much uh, expectations ama na perspective gani ama nini nilikuwa najua eh kumbe kuongea ku, ku approach uh, audience ni hivi because i used to see in them unaona venye wana, wana, wana script tseme kama ni clip ya shule unaona venye wana script unaona yenyewe eh kumbe it takes a lot so for me ili ni ili ni impact vizuri sana design yenyewe venye nikuja nikaanza senge sikuwa na ground ya position kubwa because hata sikuwa na skianga head mimi nafanya tu vitu zangu and i post it when i want unaona i don't want any control from anybody i don't want people to have too much expectations in me that kila siku lazima niwape video no 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 mimi ni sasa ndikuwa na post at my own pace unaona so ili ni mold ikanifanya nikakuwa strong that when i came to the industry nilikuwa na feel like i'm conquering unaona yes okay te, umenikumbusha jambo hapo tapi kesi challenge ambayo iko kwa comedy ama kwa content creation kwa wote wanyao wanafanya kama si wenye wa online tv wengine wanafanya comedy na other content creation at the biggest challenge ni kwamba ni social media wewe uli address aje social media unikiuliza comedian wengi ama content creators sambao tuko nao hapa no drift wanasema the biggest challenge ambayo tuko nayo ni labda eh ile ma comments iko kwa social media sasa zingine unapata comment mbako nasikia acha niache shughuli nifanye shughuli zingine waja tu nikaenda nikalime ama nifanye biashara zingine wewe unataka laje hizo ma comments ambazo unatupia pale kwa social media unajua mimi doing my comedy i'm not doing it for money i'm, a, I'm not doing it as an asshole i'm doing it as something that i love unaona so the moment unajua goal yako ni gani hapo sasa ndio decisions ku make itakuwa rahisi kama goal yako ilikuwa pesa obviously utaona ni kama ni biashara umeanzisha na imekataa kupiku na waacha you understand but if you know what is in you it will take you know, anything that is good receives a lot of ground of antagonism unaona ina inakuwa na grounds mingi sana ya watu na kuwinda winda so that they, they shake you up and you know you fail no but you know you know what your, your dream is mimi niko na kazi yangu ingine. but sasa kuna comedy naifanya kama kitu napenda. so kama ujaipenda so we follow mtu mwenye unapenda wachana na mimi unaona we usque usque perfect wangu you are not in my you don't know my plans i wish you knew my plans so that you can you can plan me but you don't know my plans so don't plan me mtawa kabisa Okay eh labda the biggest challenge ambayo labda umekuta naye tangu fanye comedy ama tangu fanye content creation which is the biggest challenge ambayo unaisambia ule kijana mwenye anajianzisha pale ama hata kuingia kwa comedy the biggest challenge ni ipi challenge kubwa ni kujituma that is the biggest challenge when you don't know what you're doing you're going for you will never understand what you're, you're looking for unaona like kama ujui ni nini unataka unaona kama una goal eh challenges zitakuwa mengi kwako because unjui nini unataka you're trying to force something that is not there unaona uweze sema ati i want ama comedian na hakuna hata clip moja umai post ama singer na hakuna hata wimbo moja umai record uka post unaona so ni kujipush kwanza jipush the, the force has to come within you so that you impact the force that's outside there unaona the, if the force is within you kama una take time mingi ku shoot u post to content yako don't don't worry mimi naona anga mara mingi niki post content mtu mwingine aniambie eh you've taken time to post ama mwingine aniambia eh hey, una post mingi so post hata moja moja iweke traffic mimi najua comedy nimefanya inaenda miaka mingi the moment nitaweka hapo najua kuna mtu ataitoa so it will remain there people who are new people mtu akinijua mupi anaenda kuona video zangu zingine kwa sababu amani fly ama namna gani yeah. so you push yourself there's no challenge challenge ni kuje push challenge tu nyemi nimepitia ni the moment unaendelea kujuana na watu wengi ni the moment kazi inakuwa mingi at the moment you need a lot of uh, time to attend to issues because kama umepata advertisements umepata sherehe una utapata time kidogo ya kufanya nini ya ku shoot ama ya kufanya nini so ni kujipanga panga tu kidogo kidogo kuna challenge okay kwa wale vijana pale ambao wanaanzia kwenye content creation tuko na vijana wengi ambao wanajianzia pale anataka aki shoot leo ka comedy kesho amuka asubuhi ame, ame train Kenya mzima na asbo train sasa inakuwa story zingine tofauti unaweza waambiaje mimi nakuambia you don't have to have too much expectations. Wewe weka tu kitu yako kama ulikuwa unaweka bidii. 
kama unataka ku trend you can trend in so many ways unaweza ata strip yourself naked na wanze ku play una trend if you want to trend but no pia ku trend si mbaya unaweza trend ufika pale jua nini takushikilia pale unaona unaona look for something that utakaa nayo for some time see you if you're getting me toss my job oh no no for me toss my job is kitu utasema 40 years god will never change it will be the only god that is he is the only so toss my job is a slogan that in a car forever so if you don't if you don't remember sengelena you will remember toss my job if you don't remember toss my job you will remember sengelena as in have a goal that is going far don't hate me here ukitaka ku trend hapa nini taku keep pale ndio watu kwa necessary ju ku trend wiki moja ama wiki mbili so Okay eh, eh, kuna kuna ile nini eh, labda niulize ni, ni tu niulize tu maybe eh, kwa kwa comedy yako eh size najua unafanya vitu mingi unajiona aje miaka ambazo sinakuja katika comedy yako na fans wako watarajie nini kubwa ambayo labda kwa miaka sinakuja for the next years fans wangu watarajie kwamba niko siendi mahali i'm not quitting anytime soon because winners never quit and then pia wanafaa kujua kwamba uh, mafans wangu wanafaa kujua kwamba it's either one agenda wa rudi one and follow one follow but i'm still there and i'm still going to give my best because i know why i, ch- I chose comedy and i know why i'm there sawa so, yes so in the five years man nitakuwa na brand mzima sengele na itakuwa brand nitakuwa na wasanii pia na wa support na tutakuwa tutakuwa tumeweka mahali rada ya wakale na nataka tu embrace Kalenjin language because unajua kikale ni first language toto sijui mbona tumefanya interview na Kiswahili i don't know why because kale is our first language i love kale not because na nati nilelewa na wakale hapana ni language yangu ina identify mimi kama kiplaga tu unaona so i have to embrace it and i want people to know it i want other people to speak my language like the way you speak Kiswahili the way you speak Kizungu sawa sawa yes so mimi niko na goal ya tunataka kikale iende mbali so unaona in 5 years time tutakuwa tumeka mbali in fact I'm, i'm doing i'm going to do interview kwa kikale hiyo ndio nakuja na ifanya in fact nimebushiwa na watu wengi sana nifanye interview na kikale na nitafanya i will make sure nitafanya sasa kama watu wanyanisanga ni kikale sasa mbona tunaongelea kiswahili na mistake okay unaona next time i will make sure tutafanya interview na kikale ni sawa okay labda kabla kabla hatujamaliza maybe eh tuko na dakika chache maybe uni, uniambie kwamba eh, kwa saizi kwa saizi eh, eh, kuna, kuna kuna ile kuna ile kuna wale ma comedians wanatoka LD ambao wanachipuka tuko na wengi sana wengi nimekutana hawa nasema hatuna support ya wale nyenye wame, wamesonga kiazi wengi nakutana kwamba hata uki, ukipiga simu za zingine ijukuliwi ama huyo mtu unamwandikia una message anakulenga so maybe ungewaambia aje ama comedian ambao wanalalamika kwamba labda atuje atuje pata ile support ya maybe comedian ambao wamefaulu kama kuna comedian wengi hapa wasingishwa ama saidia no thrift waje nitumie no thrift mpaka south thrift ambao wamefaulu juu tuko na akina bro box tuko na akina raplal wengi ambao wamefaulu labda una, utawambia aje juu vijana wengi pale wanalalamika wana ile support ama fi, ama waje pata ile support ya comedians kutoka saidia no thrift ndio shida hao watu wenye ni wanajita comedians wengi wengi wanakuja na gold star for tofauti unapata hata mtu unaweza mpata unamuuliza nani alikunyima nini unasikia hana ameshaanza kuongea mbaya because yeye hajua goal yake hapo ni gani but naona for someone who is pushing him or herself ukipost kitu fani fani kila wakati mbona tusiripost mimi mimi na wananga comedy yao mimi nikiona kitu fani mbona nisiripost that is naona that's why nakwambia the, the only way utataka kujulikana ama usapotiwe ni the only way una work hard ukikuwa na ma videos 200 plus mimi hata mimi nikiweza ukiweza ni follow amoni nitasengelea nataka tu nini na niona uko na ma videos 200 na ijaya umoka hata moja wewe ni mtu una try na wewe unajua kitu unatafuta ni venye tu watu wajaona ama waje test nini yako ati yako unaona so mtu kama unde anafaa kusapoti unapata mtu hata hajai post hata video moja na anajiita comedian ama kuna jina ama ama ukijaribu kuona video ni kitu tu amekopi kutoka kwa mtu mimicry this is the fault ya mimicry na talent Nona. So wewe unaweza kuwa unaweza mimic vizuri. Si imaanishi kama unaweza mimic vizuri nikikuja kwa na wewe nitakupea nini role na uanze kumimic. Hauwezi kuwa una act. We want things that is real life. Ndio watu wapende. Muna understand. Tunataka real life issues yenye ina to affect. So mi, mimi mimi uchukua hata natumianga criteria tofauti sana kuchuzwa watu wenye mimi na work with. with. Mimi nakusikia kwanza ukinicall what goal do you want? Who do you want us to work together? Mimi nakuuliza eh 
kuna video gani mmoja umefanya tuone vinyi inaendelea ehe alafu uko wapi ehe alafu hii comedy yako ni iko, iko na nini gani unaona ndio tunajua kama tutawaka pamoja ama not you understand but wewe wako ni your craft itafika tu time itapata breakthrough hakuna haja tu ku support alafu kufika pale juu tena uanguke alafu waseme sisi ni wabaya tulikuachilia understand yes okay labda labda nikiuliza eh katika eh, ile ume, umejibu sana vizuri ya, ya vijana ambao wanajitokeza maybe wanalalamika kwamba eh, nini okay kuna 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 ka, ka njia fulani ambayo labda juniliulisa the same question eh, ara manyur na akanijibu design yake kuna njia mpya amba, kuna njia tofauti ambayo mna labda mnaifanya then mupea vijana eh, ka platform moja tu tumie example ya ara manyur aniambia huwa anachukua namba zao then anamwambia unaesafanya nini kwa, kwa, kwa ama unaesa act kama character kama mulevi eh, kuna kwa mulevi kuna mtu anaesa act vizuri kama kama mama kama wewe then yeye huwa anawauliza unaesa act side gani anawaandika jina na namba zao then siku nyingine atakuwa na mahali anaesa fanya amuite maybe huko na njia ambayo labda a, a vijana wa kikuwa approach unajua ana kwa approach sana sana wanaenda functions nini wanakukuta ana kwa approach wewe unawaambia aje sasa kuna mmoja aliye ni text akaniambia one to nini I want I want you I want to be like kina noshi nikamwambia it's okay alafu kidogo akaniambia I want to shoot comedy with you nikamwambia it's okay when I come back to Eldoret you mean nafanya kazi Nairobi I will shoot with you kidogo akani text akaniambia wewe bwana yule kuja uje nitafuta bwana nini bwana wewe bwana unaona nini kaambia eh yeye nimekuwa na nini shughuli hapa down but nikisikini nikipata nafasi I will look for you kidogo ameandika Facebook una ringa eh alienda kaniwa comments huko Facebook una ringa Eh, akina Ronsha wa ringi na wako mbali. Mimi nikamwambia bro, mimi si ringi. Ni ule ni call nikakana na kwanza alitext akaniambia I want to be famous. Mimi nikaona kwanza kuelewa jamaa kwanza nitafuti sana. Yeye anataka kuwa famous. Na mimi ni comedian. Mimi sitaki ni kuwa famous. Unaona? Unaona? Sasa yeye ananiambia nataka kuwa famous. Nikamwambia nitumie hata video moja ushaifanya basi. Nijui sasa utakuweka wapi. Nikamwambia time ta shoot nitakuita. Akaenda kwa sasa yeye ndiye anaribu jina kabisa. Huyo yuko na maringo hata huyo usinini. Aya mwingine kama Rosalind mwenye tunafanya kazi na Yesai. Alinipigia kama ameongea kama dem. Ya muneza nge. Mimi niko hata mege mama tukaongea kama wanawake alafu akaniambia denge ile maja bi oso hii. Akaniambia ukijua mimi si mwanamke. Nikamwambia ah wallahi. Ati eh mimi naitwa Elliot juu nani nani. Nikamwambia eh. Nikikuja nitakutafuta. When I came home immediately I needed a character. Nikaenda kupaka kwao. Nikamtafuta. Na sasa hii alianza from 000 sasa yako mahali unaona because watu pia walikuja waka realize hata yake anza hakuwa see that perfect kidogo 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 anaingiza anaingiza skills kidogo kidogo anapenya hivyo sasa ndio huko mimi ni kwanza ukishani call ama ni text nataka ngaka tu kujua kwanza are you are you are you, you good in it how much patience do you have ama nikikuja tena ni kuingiza hapo utanisumbua unajua kuingia tena na kwa clip anaanza kusema ah huyu anaibia watu au just struggle tunapita wewe mwenyewe ndio hata clip moja come out mi kwanza hata nataka kushikiliwa mbona nataka nikushikilie na hata sijafika mahali it's just the beginning of my career beginning hata ukifuata post zangu haifiki mia it's the beginning naanza pia from another field but nimekuwa kwa field i've been struggling too and i'm starting so don't accuse me when first you've not even shown that you can even work with me okay make sure unaendelea kusubscribe pale koko tv na make sure umesikia amesema kuwa hambo na ukuja kwa njia mzuri na ukuwa na kitu ambao unaesafanya usikuje tu bure hivyo maybe tukimalizia eh, maybe una kama unaesapeana social media zako handle zen kwa yule mtu ambaye labda anatasama kuna labda yule mtu akujui na leo kwa sababu ya Coco TV amekujua maybe upe unaesapatikana wapi jina kana naweza kupata pale YouTube pale Facebook pale IG kila mahali kwa social media jina yangu tu ni Senge Elena kila mahali ni Senge Elena Instagram ni Senge underscore Elena Facebook ni Senge Elena namba yangu nikikupea inaandika Senge inaandika Senge Elena kwa trokola lakini Vitalis kipla kwa Mpesa yes yeah one thing that i have to live with people ni that in maisha you live life to live a legacy huh? you live life to live a legacy so anything you do make sure that it, it, it keeps an or it makes an impact there's a fan who texted me na akaniambia unajua hata kumidisha kwa kuna kitu ni outside yanga ni sisi ndio tuna watch ndio mpata hata pesa unaona but hata 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 juu ina tech process gani hata mtu ndio ulipo hata na facebook ama na youtube peke yake it takes a lot unaona anaweza kuwa ananiambia hata hata kunanga comments na, na unashang hata hujai juuliza mbona unanga views na una, una comments kwa sababu kwa na maringo mimi nashindwa hata niko na maringo wapi ask the people around me ask my circle or ask the people that have impacted positively 
people do talk a lot. Mimi nitaka kuambia huyu jamaa hata siko kufurahisha mtu. Hata nika mreply nikamwambia kwa comment yangu na post video nikitaka. Sawa sawa. Ta post nikitaka ndaweza wacha ni kama sitaki because mimi najua goal yangu ni gani. Eh? Legacy ni si kufanya for chapa it's doing for humanity. Sawa sawa. Yes. Okay kando na comedy. Maybe kuna kitu kingine unayesafanya mtu labda anaweza kuhitaji kama MC kama anything maybe uambie kama unayesafanya MC. Mchezaji kama kama anafanya ilianza kufanya MC before atanianza comedy. So nilianza kwa kuwa MC kwanza before nianza kufanya sengesa sasa comedy. Eh? So si hata kama unanijua na comedy mimi si MC. Yes. Mara mingi tu unaambianga mtu juanga mtu kwanza before uanze kumwatak. Eh. So mimi nafanya MC nafanya adverts uh, nafanya corporates. Yes. Na nakupata na the same kwa ingia pale social media. Same to, same to. Ama kuna namba ambayo labda ni ya management anaweza kupata S- nayo. Namba ni mimi niko nayo. Yeah. yeah. Namba ni mimi niko nayo 0708 600 809. 0708 600 809 ni namba yangu. Yesu kwa ndio mtu ananipata. Okay asante sana Koko Senge Elena kwa wakati wako na Mungu akubariki. Make sure una subscribe pale Koko TV, una ni follow up. Unapo subscribe make sure una click ile kwa pato ile ya kengele. Then kila time niki upload kitu unaweza pata na inaweza kuwa vizuri sana. So ubarikiwe sana kwa na wakati bora na asante kwa kuwa pamoja nami.